All right, so today I want to give you a 100% unbiased review on a Captain Boat Collar install on my Quintrex Dart 370 HDW. So first of all, this little titty's already been around the country with us as a roof topper. I love it. It's a ripper of a little tinny. Um, it's a little bit higher sides than a normal dart. Great performance in a bit of chop, and it is quite stable for a V-nose tinny, but could be more stable, and I think it will be. Um, I've been in a boat before with a boat collar on it, and I was really impressed, which is why I bought this one. Um, what we're gonna do, give you a bit of a rundown of this tinny very quickly, first of all. Show you the floor in it, show you the steps. I'm going to go through and show you all the stability of it pre-collar. I'm going to take it out for a spin, bash it through a bit of chop and show you that and show you the performance with the 20 horsepower Tohatsu 4 stroke on the back. And then uh, I'll get to, I'll install the collar, we'll come back and we'll do the same stuff with the collar on it. Now, I'm not associated with Captain Boat Collars at all, so everything that I put forward in this is strictly my point of view. Um, what I will say is that my dealings with them in purchasing the boat collar were top notch. So well done there guys, five star. I'll wait and see how your product comes up at the end of the day before I speak about that. But uh, let's get into it. I'm Brent, this is Kel, and together with our son Bear and dog Jazz, we're traveling Australia. Come and join us for our reality. Okay, so pretty standard setup here. Um, custom floor that I put in myself. It's plywood floor with um, just aluminium runners behind it. Put a little floor up the front as well for standing and casting on, so I'll show you the stability of that. Around the back here, we've got these custom steps put on it, which are really good. You'll see when I jump on it in a minute that it does cause the boat to tip a bit though. Um, Tohatsu 24 stroke, as I said before, this is a fuel injected motor. It's an absolute fuel miser, which is amazing, and it goes pretty hard as well. So for me, this is a perfect match for the 3.7 tinny or a 12 footer. Um, and 12 litre tank will take you three trips to get through it. So good choice there, guys, if anybody wants to look at those. All right, test number one, me jumping in over the transom on these steps, similar if you've got a ladder or anything. I'm about 85-ish kegs, so there <laughs> <not> <laughs> In I go. Shots down, not too bad on this one. Straight in. Bearable. Okay, test number two, straight over the side of the gunnel. I'm going to sit on it and see what happens. Whoop, very close to going over there. These sides on the HDW are 100 mil higher than a standard dart. I reckon you'd be pretty close in the water on a standard. Ugh. Yeah, it's not great. Standing up on the side, pretty wobbly. On the other side, it doesn't take much to get it moving. Okay, so one thing that a lot of people use the tinnies for is casting off the front. This tinny's actually really good for a factory one with um, no flat bottom, but she still moves around. You know, you cast into that really interested to see what the collar does for that because that's the really big thing for me casting off the front. Okay I'm going to go and do a few of the performance runs now. I'll put the GoPro up the front of the boat. Um, we've got about 20 knots of wind out there today so it is pretty choppy. It's a good day to show you some actual performance in there. Not a glass out like most people show you. Um, I'm going to test speed run so just see what performance I get out of it uh, via Navionics with no collar on it. I'm going to throw a few through a few corners and I'm also going to punch into the chop. I'm going to go with the chop onto my tail and I'm going to go across it. And what you'll find with any boat really is you're getting the spray thrown up and then coming back with the wind. So I want to see what the difference is once I put the collar on. What will be a good result? So when you're going through corners like the permit, you're expecting instead of going over like this, 
<laughs> it's almost like it's on rails. Um, you know when your speed to drop off? Yeah, I don't want to lose top speed. Um, I don't want to lose hole shot. I, I actually think I'm going to get better hole shot on it with the collar. What's hole shot? Take off from the get go. So when you take off in a tinny, normally if it's just one person in the boat particularly, you might sit down a bit arse heavy on it. So the tinny will go like this and then pop up on the plane. I'm thinking with the extra buoyancy at the back here, it's going to pop up quicker. Um, I'm thinking into the waves, I'm going to get a little bit better performance. I'm not expecting too much difference. Across, I'm expecting a lot better with the collar on it, and particularly the spray. So where this tinny, the V, shoves it up in the, into the wind at the moment, then comes straight back in your face, I'm expecting it to come up, hit the collar, and get deflected down a lot more. Um, but stability is obviously the main thing you're looking for. Okay guys, just before I take off and show you this test on the water, you'll see I'm wearing a life jacket. It takes two seconds to put it on. The other thing that I want to show you is your kill switch on these. If you're out in the boat by yourself, please put them on. I know it's not comfortable, so I've added a um, just a surfboard leash on it. I put it around my ankle so I can still move around the boat. Uh, we've lost a few good people in Moreton Bay recently, which is my uh, home neck of the woods and it could easily be avoided just by spending a couple of minutes and doing these things. So please do it if you're out by yourself. did the two top speed runs, the one on the left being with the wind on my tail, the one on the right punching into the wind. I didn't take video of this, but uh, simply took screenshots while I was doing it. The install of the bow collar takes about a week to complete. There's probably only about four or five hours of actual work in it, but you need to leave the glue to dry for a good week. In the instructions, they really stress this, so make sure you do leave it. The Actual difficulty of the install is not too bad. It would definitely be easier with two people to do it. Um, the marks you can see on the side of it, there's chalk from my little fella drawing on it. So it's not actually a defect with the product. Um, pretty happy with the overall finished product of it. They don't look the coolest thing around, but uh, they're very functional. So very happy. All right, five days later, finished product, she's on. It was a little bit of hard work. I'd say probably need to be a decent DIY to have a crack at it, otherwise get a professional to install it. But um, perfectly achievable by yourself. They give you all the tools and that, like the drill bits and stuff like that, the Tef gel and whatever, all in the pack. So it makes it real easy for you. Um, let's check out first impressions. Do, run, run through the same tests again and uh, see how it comes up. But. I've already got a smile on my face, so that'll tell you something. 
Okay, so back step, jumping on. Let's see how she goes. That's pretty good. Very different. Walking forward, nice and stable. Um, I'll do the tip test, so... I'm literally putting all I've got into that. It moves, but it's very stable. Over on the side, that's as far as I can get. Hard to balance because I'm trying to tip my weight out of the boat. That's everything right on the gunnel. And then my sit test. That's all my weight. I can't tip it if I wanted to. That's a good foot above the water compared to in the water before.
anybody that's reversed a tinny with weight down the back before knows it can, get, it can get a bit sketchy. So I'll show you it with the collar on and um, it's a mark of improvement. started to bury down a bit because I got the steps on the back it would scoop the water but uh, it hardly moves now so much better in reverse as well honestly I, I can't see a negative to it all right guys so that's the wrap up on the boat collar um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the before and after from somebody who's not affiliated with the company at all it's all positive for me to be honest really happy with it um, as I said before, really happy with their customer service as well. Uh, great guys to deal with. Um, Stability-wise, everything improves. Ride-wise, I'd say the into the chop is probably not dramatically better, like some people blow up, but it's it doesn't reduce your ride quality at all. On the beam, way better, less spray. Um, yeah, it, it's everything's positive, really. Um, the only thing I would say is for people that want it as a roof topper, You've got to be conscious of weight. Check with uh, boat collars about how much it would weigh for your particular boat. I'd say this is probably 10 or 15 kilos extra. So you need to be conscious of that. But apart from that, go for it. I'm not gonna have another tinny without one. Um, particularly too, for anybody thinking about getting a Vino's punt style one, which you're generally getting because you think you're getting a little bit decent ride and better stability, right? Get a Vino's one, so you get the best ride you can, put one of these on it, you only better the ride, and you've got way better stability. It's it's a no-brainer for me. Spoke to a lot of guys on the road with um, top of tracker type tinnies and that, and the ride quality in any bit of chop is just not there. So unless you're sticking to the dams and rivers, you've got to go on Vino's. But uh, that, that's it for me, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Check out our other video on the full rundown of the roof topper and um, like and subscribe if you can. We've got plenty more videos to come. Maybe a couple in the beautiful Cocos Islands as well with some fishing. Cheers.